So YouTube decided to suggest videos for me titled like how I replace gaming with code or how to make coding fun. And I was like, yo, this is great. Gamers finally start to realize they get bigger highs from coding than gaming. Besides, we all know the three best things to do on a computer are coding, games, and uh, YouTube. It's also nice to see these kids finally move out of from their mom's basement the same way I did. But then I was thinking, wait a second, I used to game a lot. Now I code a lot. Maybe I can elaborate on this topic a little bit. So for some reason, people tend to think that gaming is counterproductive. So gaming is bad. And that's like saying walking is bad because it's not very productive. What's next? How do I replace sleeping with coding or what? Gaming, just like walking or watching TV, is for relaxation, you know. It's not meant to be productive. Of course, gaming all day, every day long is probably harmful for you, just like working all day, every day. Unless that's your job, but that's a completely different topic. Video games, just like I said in my previous video are a great way to motivate yourself to be more productive. You can use it as a reward after finishing a task, it's a great thing. So you finally decided to move out from your mom's basement and say goodbye to the rat family which you have been feeding for the past three years now. Congratulations! But now what? You can't just start coding and make money immediately, right? You need to learn. And what better way to learn is to find something that's interesting for you. Maybe game development? Just saying. Start watching maybe YouTube tutorials and code. Code a lot. Trial and error. You're gonna be better every day. If you need to, steal your mom's credit card to buy a course for all I care. It's for your own benefit. Do not actually do that, please. And once you get comfortable enough to do something meaningful, it's time to move on. Look at you, you're a big programmer now. All you need is someone to pay for your services. So what are your choices? You can start something on your own or work for someone. And working for someone is much simpler. You only have to worry about your job. You get the task, do it, go home and start playing your favorite video games. Yes, you should still play video games. Why not? Those poor gaming companies like Blizzard and Ubisoft, which have flawless reputation, I heard. What are they gonna do without your money? But on a more serious note, you are a responsible adult now, expecting someone to pay for your job. Therefore, you should also support your favorite games, preferably from indie game studios, you know. After all, you wasted thousands and thousands of hours playing video games. It's a very small price for that. So do your best. Learn to code. The more languages, the better. But don't forget your favorite video games. And also, don't forget to share and like this video. For more content like this or coding tips, please subscribe to my channel. I won't disappoint you, I promise. Have a good one. Bye.